Let's find out what's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process in which plants, autotrophs, use simple inorganic material, carbon dioxide and water, to produce organic substances such as glucose, carbohydrate, protein and fat. They do this using the light energy from the sun. How does this work? The light energy is captured by the chlorophyll, which is located in the chloroplast of a cell. The chloroplast is an organelle found in the cell. The chloroplast is a site for photosynthesis in plant cells. It is important to note that magnesium and nitrogen is needed in order for photosynthesis to take place. Let's look at a summary diagram of photosynthesis. Here we have a plant. And in this plant, we have photosynthesis taking place. The sun is a major part of the photosynthesis process as the sun provides the energy for photosynthesis. So the plant is getting water from the soil, mineral, and of course this magnesium and nitrate that is needed as mineral, they are also coming from the soil. The plant is capturing, like we said, the sunlight using the chlorophyll in the leaf. While it does this, it is of course carrying out the process of photosynthesis and it is releasing oxygen to the atmosphere. While it releases oxygen to the atmosphere, carbon dioxide is entering the plant through the stomata to ensure the process continues. So if we look at the equation below, it nicely summarizes the photosynthesis process. Carbon dioxide plus water or the raw material needed for photosynthesis. The condition is light and chlorophyll. The chlorophyll, of course, is used to trap the sunlight. And of course, what's been produced? Glucose. Glucose is being produced and in some plants it's stored. Like onion and scallion, the glucose is stored. In other plants, the glucose is changed into starch and other stuff that are stored in the plant, like carbohydrate, protein, Fat, and the list goes on and on. If you observe, oxygen is also given off and this oxygen is used for the process of respiration and combustion and of course you'll find some oxygen in the atmosphere. The chemical equation for photosynthesis is also very important as it nicely summarizes the process. Be warned, if you are called upon to write the chemical equation for photosynthesis, you must write it with all these numbers. The equation has three parts. Raw material, which would have been the carbon dioxide and water, the condition, lights, and of course chlorophyll, and the product, which is of course glucose and oxygen.